Okay, so many of you have asked in the past, um, do I have any freebies, any free driveways that I plow? So I'm guessing, you know, a bunch of you do it, or maybe all you do it to a certain extent, but this one here is my in-law's driveway, and um, I don't plow it all the time. It's if there's only a few inches, or you guys know that my trigger point is three inches. If there's only three inches, four inches maybe, I usually don't go. Um, if it's three inches and it's a heavy wet snow, I usually try to get over here to get it done for them. They're not too far away from me and they're, uh, they're just a little bit off of my route, but uh, I do pass right by their street. So if it's a heavy wet snow, then I go and I knock it out for them. And, uh, just so that my father-in-law isn't out there trying to shovel it. Um, he had a snow blower. I'm not sure if he still has it or not, but, uh, um, when it gets heavy wet snow or a lot of snow like I mean total between the entire snowfall and the two times I went out plowing it probably in a lot of areas got up to eight nine inches uh, some areas got about a total of six to seven but uh, when it got like this uh, my wife had texted me and asked if I was in the area and I said yeah she goes can you just go clear the end of my parents driveway because uh, the town plows went by and left like a foot of snow so I went over and since I was already there I just cleared the whole thing out for him, no big deal, but um, I, I left a little bit, usually I edit all this stuff out, me driving to the next house, um, or the next set of houses that I have to do, I usually cut it out, but I left it in this one to show you guys, you know, this here was pretty much after the storm had stopped and they had plowed the roads like two and three times. And this is this is how crappy it was. Um, it just it left a lot of the roads in really crappy conditions. And usually, I mean, the towns in my area have gotten a lot better with the way that they clean up roads. For a long time, they were horrible. Uh, we had a new highway superintendent take over as of the first of the year in this town that I'm in right here. And thank God because the other one had a policy where he wouldn't uh, let any plows on the road between 11 p.m., I think it was, and 4 a.m., something like that, which is completely asinine as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, residents, taxpayers are paying tax dollars to have safe roads, and, you know, it's it was all a money issue, I'm sure. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm guessing, it, you know, it was all a money issue, and I just think it's crap. You know, you can't tell me that my wife might not have a heart attack at 1 o'clock in the morning, and emergency personnel have to get to my house or we have to get somebody to a hospital for you know maybe a smaller accident or something but either way it was just completely asinine but the new guy took over and he is just doing a phenomenal job I couldn't be happier I'm actually pretty good friends with him I know him very well and uh, I'm very happy with what he's doing but anyway so we there was a lot of rain 
Uh, it rained hard for hours before the snow came. So usually when that happens, it creates that coating of ice under there. And in my area, uh, this has been common in some of my videos lately, it's come up. A lot of places use sand um, and or they use a salt sand mix, which I think is complete garbage. I used to go down in an Erie PA five, six days a week for years uh, for work. And I couldn't wait to hit that New York state line where they dump nothing but salt. Yeah, it rots your vehicle out a lot faster, but those roads are a lot safer and they dry up a lot quicker. So um, even with them scraping the roads down and, and using salt, uh, it, it still took a bit of time because of all the layers of ice that were underneath the snow. So once that sun really came out, it cleaned them roads up and uh, it made things a lot nicer. But this is the third part of uh, how I broke up all my footage from the storm. Uh, by now, I'm sure you guys have already seen the first two parts. And I just wanted to throw this last part in here and cover some of those uh some of those questions that people have asked as far as do I do any freebies? Yes, I do that when my in-laws, I do my mother's, of course, and then I, uh, I do a, a couple of them on my street for some older couples. I just go and clear them out for them, and I, I save that for the very end of my route when I'm done with everything. None of it's priority. I just get to it when I can, and uh, I try to clean them up for them as best I can. But as always, guys, make sure you smash that like button. It helps me out tremendously with uh, getting my videos up there and getting them suggested by YouTube, which encourages me to keep on making them for you. So thank you guys very much. Share this video. Smash that like button. I will see you in the next one.